So welcome. This is the graphs of tangent and cotangent. So just like sine and cosine and all the different types of functions, this um, graphing tangent and cotangent, it's based off of this unit circle, okay? And again, really quick, unit circle here is zero or two pi, right? And that point is one comma zero. This point here is pi over two, and that point is zero comma one. This point here is pi, where it's negative one comma zero, and here is three pi over two, and this point is zero comma negative one, right? So you guys know that the coordinate is cosine comma sine, right? Also, we know that tangent, right, equals, or not cosine, sine over cosine, correct? Yeah, tangent equals sine over cosine. So what I'm gonna do in red is I'm gonna get the tangent value, okay? All I'm gonna do here is Essentially, what tangent is going to equal then is going to be y over x, right? Because you know your y value is your sine function and your cos your x value is your cosine function. So y over x, tangent here at 0 and 2 pi is 0 over 1, or that's just 0, okay? I'm gonna extend this out and I'm just gonna get the reciprocal as well because that is cotangent. The reciprocal of zero over one is one over zero where that is undefined, right? UDN undefined. You can never ever have a denominator of zero. So that's why it's undefined, okay? Here at pi over two, tangent is one over zero, right? Y over X, which again is undefined, right? Same reasoning. Okay. Cotangent is going to be zero over one or zero. Do you guys see a trend? If your tangent is zero, your cotangent is undefined. The reciprocal of zero is undefined. All right. So instead of me doing all of those steps, I'm just going to go ahead and go tangent is 0 over negative 1 or 0. Cotangent then is undefined. Okay? Here at 3 pi over 2, tangent is negative 1 over 0 or undefined. Your cotangent then is 0. Right? Okay, so let's do tangent of x first. Okay, so we're going to graph y equals tangent of x. All right, just like the sine and cosine, we're just making our, um, our x axis, right, as our radian measure in radians, and our y-axis is our tangent function, whatever that it is equal to, okay? So if you look at that unit circle again, where tangent is undefined at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, right? Let's just do pi over 2 first, okay? At pi over 2, that means there's going to be a vertical asymptote, okay? That means that Essentially, at pi over 2, let's make this pi over 2, right? We're going to have a vertical line going straight up and down, signifying, hey, the graph cannot go over this line. There's no value there, 
right? So the graph cannot go over that line. Okay? And now if you think about it, three pi over two is the same thing. If I go negative, it's gonna be negative pi over two, right? So here as well, at negative pi over two, there's gonna be a vertical asymptote. Okay, so just try and draw it neat. All right? Okay, so that's my graph so far. Also, at three pi over two, there's a vertical asymptote. And at negative three pi over two, there's a vertical asymptote, right? Pi over two is the same thing as negative three pi over two, okay? So that's pi over two, that will be pi. This would be three pi over two. And then this would be negative three pi over two. And here again, are my vertical asymptotes. Okay. And this one's kind of easy to um, show. Well, here, right? You guys see the trend of tangent if you guys look at the tangent value, zero, undefined, zero, undefined. You keep on going, right, round and around. There's always gonna be a zero between the two undefines, right? Or there's gonna be undefined between the two zeros, right? And they're always gonna be in terms of pi over two, right? So if there's a zero in between my vertical asymptotes that I drew here, I know right in the middle of negative pi over two and pi, there's gonna be a vertical, or there's gonna be a zero, just right in the middle, right? Three pi over two and negative, or negative three pi over two and negative pi over two, there's a zero. There's a zero right in between here. What are these points? What's the in, the, in between uh, pi over two and three pi over two? pi, and this would be negative pi, okay? And this would obviously just be zero, right? Okay, so you graph your vertical asymptotes and you graph these points, okay? I am going to go back to my uh, unit circle, right, and draw that triangle, okay? And I know that some people forgot, right? So I'm gonna draw the triangle and revert back to this. This is a 45, I wanna revert back to degrees of 45, 45, 90, okay? What? Now going back to the start of trig, Okay, not even looking at the unit circle. This is not a unit circle anymore. I'm just looking at the 45, 45, 90 triangle. What's the ratio of the sides? One, one, square root of two, right? Yeah, one, one, square root of two, correct? So the tangent value here at 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent, right? Going back to the first time we did this, it's one over one. So this trig value is one, right? So the tangent of this angle equals one. What is the angle? 45 degrees. Wait, in radians. 
pi over 4, right? Halfway between 0 and pi over 2 is pi over 4, right? And if I start drawing this triangle here, I'm just going to draw it all the way through because I'm going to draw that triangle as well. If I start drawing these triangles all the way throughout, right? Yeah. This guy is from here, tangent. This is one, this is negative one. So this would be negative one, correct? And this is three pi over four. This tangent, that's negative one over negative one, which is one. This would be five pi over four. Okay, five pi, six pi, seven pi. This is seven pi over four, and I have negative one over one, which my tangent value is negative one there. Yeah, do you guys see that? Okay. While I have you guys on these triangles, I'm gonna get cotangent as well. Reciprocal of one is one. Reciprocal of negative one is negative one. Reciprocal of one is one, right? So they're equal to each other. Reciprocal of negative one is negative one, okay? So the cotangent and the tangent values are all equal on those triangles, right? Okay, so just taking this one for now, halfway between zero and pi over two, right? Is pi over four. So halfway between zero and pi over two, is pi over four, and I wanna make this one, it's one. Yeah. Halfway between zero and negative pi over two is negative one, right? The tangent value is negative one, right there. Okay, does that make sense? Questions on that? Yeah. So these points in red are based off of this triangle, right? Here, halfway between 0 and pi over 2 is pi over 4, which is has a value of 1. So if I'm graphing the tangent, um, the tangent function here, Halfway between 0 and pi over 2 is pi over 4, which has a value of 1, right? Halfway between 0 and negative pi over 2 has a trig value of negative 1, or of a tangent value, I'm sorry, of negative 1, okay? So that's why it went negative 1. And then you guys can see... And this curve here wants to get as close to the asymptote as possible, okay? So that's all you're gonna be doing, okay? And you guys see how, if you guys draw one curve, understand one curve, it, there's the same pattern, exact same pattern. So zero, this at negative pi, so this is negative, 3 pi over 4 is going to be 1 at negative 5 pi over 4. It's going to be negative 1. And you're just going to draw the same uh, curve. Okay? 0, okay, going to the right, pi, 4 pi, 5 pi over 4. It's going to be 1, 3 pi over 4, it's going to be negative 1. 
and then just draw out that curve. Okay. So that is your trig function or your tangent function in a nutshell. All right. And in this case, what we're going to do is just vertically stretch it, move it side to side, move it up and down. And that's about it. All right. Cool. Questions.